and welcome to the Department of Dental Informatics Introduction to Charting Findings and Restorations. The first step when charting findings is to find your patient in the Rolodex and navigate to their EHR module. Opening the EHR will take you to your patient's odonogram. The first findings we will add are missing teeth. To mark a tooth as missing, click on the tooth number, then right click to bring up the contextual menu. This is where you'll mark the tooth missing. Note the red M under the missing tooth number. If several teeth are missing, it is possible to mark multiple teeth at once by clicking on each missing tooth number and, as before, right-clicking and choosing Missing. If you ever mark a tooth as missing by mistake, select the tooth number that you would like to restore, right-click, and choose Undo Missing. Now that we have removed all of the missing teeth, we can begin charting existing treatments. With the Treatment History tab active, click on the folder with the green plus on the right side of the page. This will create a Chart Add tab where you will input your findings. The Chart Add area is broken down into a few different sections. Findings, Dental Treatments, and Medical Treatments. Also note that there is a Quick List tab, which contains the most frequently used procedures, the Full List, which contains every dental code, and a Search function, which allows you to search for a specific procedure by description or code. Since we are adding common restorations today, we will work out of the quick list. We'll start by adding amalgam fillings. Be sure the dental treatment's radio button is selected under the quick list tab and choose restorative from the category list. Select amalgam filling and begin clicking the odonogram surfaces to record the existing restorations for each tooth. If you add a surface in error, you can simply click the surface again to remove the finding. Once you have charted all of the amalgam fillings, click on the Add Finding icon and all of your findings will appear in the list with the appropriate code, site, and surface. If a tooth has been added in error, you can simply select the tooth from the findings list and click the folder with the red X. The tooth will be removed from the list and the restorations will be removed from the odonogram. Next, we will add composite fillings. Composite fillings are broken up into two categories, anterior and posterior. We will chart the anterior teeth first by clicking on the appropriate surfaces. Finally, click on the Add Findings button to add them to your list. Including a posterior tooth with the anterior composite group has caused a prompt to alert the error and the composite is not added to the tooth. The same process applies to posterior composite fillings. Select the surfaces, Add Finding, and you're finished. To add a bridge, navigate to Fixed Prosthetics and then to Fixed Bridge Units. First, we will add the Pontic. When adding a Pontic, note the material type as the Pontic and Retainer are usually the same material. For this demonstration, we will select Porcelain Fused to Noble Metal. As with before, select the procedure code, the tooth, and finally, add finding. Now we can add the retainer by selecting the appropriate code, keeping in mind the material type, selecting the teeth on either side of the pontic, and add finding. Last but not least, we will add the bridge drawbar. Select the code, the teeth, and add finding. Finally, we will add an implant by selecting implants from the category menu, select the appropriate finding, Choose the space where the implant is found, and finally, add finding. With the findings radio button selected, you are able to chart existing conditions as well as diseases and abnormalities. First, we will chart existing conditions by simply selecting the condition, in this case, rotated distally, the affected teeth, and finally, add finding. Note that both teeth now have a blue winding arrow next to them indicating distal rotation. It is the same process for diseases and abnormalities. Select the appropriate finding, the affected surfaces, and then the Add Finding button. When you go back to the treatment history, you will see that all of your findings have been recorded. In the Treatment History tab, existing restorations and conditions are marked with a status of E 
while diseases and abnormalities are marked with a status of A. This concludes the introduction to charting findings in Axiom. Thanks for watching.